Psychology and behavioral science play an important role in understanding and managing the respiratory disease like COPD, asthma, pulmonary fibrosis. In this video, I'm going to discuss about those psychological factors and behavioral factors that influence the management of chronic respiratory disease. Hello and welcome to Lung Mind channel. If you're new to this channel, I'm Ms. Devi Sundar, founder of Teletherapies. I specialize in pulmonary rehab, counseling, psychotherapy, and have over 21 years of experience in management of those conditions clinically. And I also was teaching about those conditions to the patients and to the students and to fellow staffs. So this particular Long Mind channel is focused on uh, releasing free educational videos to empower both the patient and the professionals, especially the new graduates, to um, know more about um, the issues related to lung health and mental health, and what are the evidence-based practices that can be carried out to improve the quality of life of the patients. Or the, if it is a patient who's watching the video, it is uh, the patient can learn some management techniques uh, in consultation with their healthcare provider. Without any further ado, I'm going to jump into this video. Uh, if you have not subscribed previously uh, to this video, please consider subscribing and share this um, channel link with your friends and families so that they can benefit with the knowledge to manage their conditions. So when I talk about uh, psychological impact, um, living with a respiratory disease can have a significant psychological impact in those individuals. Uh, what am I talking? Let me explain more clearly. Uh, people with chronic respiratory disease have symptoms like breathlessness, coughing, fatigue, which can lead to their functional limitations, social isolation, and decreased participation in activities. Earlier in one of my videos, uh, mental health conditions in chronic respiratory disease, uh, the link description should be in my message uh, box or in the video somewhere. And uh, I've explained this as well very much clearly that how people with um, chronic respiratory disease go through their mental health conditions and psychological distress. So in this video, again, I'm going to further elaborate on that. The burden of managing a chronic condition uh, is relevant to coping with their symptoms um, and impacts their daily activities, which can lead to their psychological distress. When you talk about psychological distress, um, it is related to their anxiety, depression, stress, and adjustment to illness can influence the overall well-being and quality of life of those individuals with respiratory conditions. Psychological distress in chronic respiratory disease has been confirmed uh, in research um, previously in 1990 by Duveto and uh, in 2002 by Gurney Smith and his colleagues, uh, where they actually found in COPD patients, uh, stress is directly linked to their illnesses and uh, the experience with the anxiety distress provoked by their breathing difficulties, um, which led to um, unclear thought process and heightened emotions, extreme fear and panic, and that decreased their physical energy and uh, emotional dysregulation uh, leading to lack of sleep, um, physical mobility, and um, low social interactions, and uh, low activities of daily living, which lead to impact their uh, professional life, their work, and finance. And later, there's another study as well uh, from the Netherlands um, in 2005 by Virginia and his uh, colleagues, um, our patients with COPD psychologically distressed, um, they looked into a total of 118 patients with COPD, uh, comparing it with a random sample of 400 patients from the psychiatric outpatient and another 500 subjects from the general population. And what they noted was um, there were the higher levels of psychological distress in patients with COPD compared with the general population, and also um, higher levels of depressive disorder uh, in more COPD, severe COPD uh, 
patients and uh, that also linked with the sleeping dysregulation, especially um, longer latency to sleep onset and uh, frequent erosal awakening and more frequent state changes and poor sleep efficiency, which directly impacted on their physical and mental well-being and their social interactiveness. Um, later, there was also a study in uh, 2018, not uh, long ago, um, by Carl and Catherine, um, the effects of psychological distress and its interaction with social economic positions on risk of developing for chronic disease. Um, the link should be somewhere in my uh, video box um, or in my description, um, where this study is a UK-based study where uh, it looked at a sample, a larger sample, number of 16,485, and um, they found out that the higher levels of psychological distress were associated with an increased risk of developing arthritis, COPD, and cardiovascular disease. And the explanation they arrived at was their emotional dysregulation was related to the dysregulation of the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, which increased their cortisol level, the stress hormones. And this led to the inflammatory process, um, which directly had uh, um, a risk of um, hypertension, raised heart rate, raised cholesterol, insulin resistance, and endothelial dysfunction, and deposition of fat in the abdomen. And uh, this uh, study is one of the high opener where uh, the population has a high level of arthritis, COPD, and cardiovascular disease. And... Uh, uh, as a common disability and death. Um, so the fact the study is giving firm evidences that uh, there need to be uh, some intervention, especially focusing on the social um, issues in patients with chronic respiratory disease. Uh, moving on to the behavioral factors, certain behaviors such as smoking, sedentary lifestyle, poor medicine adherence, and um, poor diet patterns can contribute to development and worsening of this respiratory disease. So behavioral science focuses on understanding and modifying these behaviors to promote better respiratory health. Interventions like uh, smoking cessation programs, exercise promotion, medication adherence strategies, lifestyle modifications are employed to help individuals adapt their healthier behaviors. Um, but what's the research evidence that there is a behavioral factors in uh, that influences their uh, management of respiratory disease? Um, one study I can point out here um, is the can cool study by Nicola Payne and his colleagues, um, a Canadian study. And um, this uh, study name is uh, Psychological Distress is Related to Poor Health Behaviors in COPD and Non-COPD Patients, um, where they found out that uh, people with um, COPD have a higher stress level, which is directly linked to their higher smoking rates and lower physical activity. So um, there is actually um, a lot of evidences um, uh, that impacts the psychological management um, in the respiratory um, disease. So um, we have to now focus on how we can reduce the barriers um, of uh, psychological distress uh, management in a population of chronic respiratory disease. In my next video, I'm going to talk about that. See you there. Thanks for watching.